Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. And Liz. And welcome to the recap for the Chicago Bears. Playing at home against the Patriots. Uh, the Patriots win the game 38-31 by literally one yard because of horrendous Hail Mary defense. They gotta fix this. This, this the defense is so bad at times. It just too many broken coverages, too many broken, just wide open receivers, just not good stuff. They're good against the run tonight, though. Until Michelle no, injured good himself. Good against the run. Oh, good against. Yeah, there they were. Excluding Trubisky, but I think they were giving Trubisky those runs. Although that crazy run at the end of the first half should not have happened. Yeah. But I think they were giving him that. Obviously, once you're behind, you can't keep doing that. But, yeah, I mean, Howard only got 39 yards off of 12 carries, so not very good. Uh, the Patriots actually ran the ball quite well with Michelle until he got injured. And then uh, Barner actually had a decent game. And then James White actually ran pretty well at the end of the game. Yeah. Unfortunately, you don't want James White doing that because that's, that's a hell of a workload. Um, so, yeah, I think the story of the game is going to be uh, special teams play. Really, really won this game for the Patriots. Um, yeah, Patterson had the one fumble, but he had a, a kickoff return touchdown. Almost had a second kickoff return. Uh, he almost broke a second hey. one, got to the 41. Um, and then, of course, the blocked punt in that second half by uh, Dante Hightower, picked up by yeah. Kyle Van Noy, scored. His first career touchdown. Yeah, that's just crazy. Um, Van Noy actually didn't pick it up clean. He actually missed it the first time. But the Patriots were so good at that run back, they had uh, like six or seven guys ready to block. So the one guy that might have gotten to Van Noy, they blocked him. So yeah. it was a great play. Uh, excellent play. They needed it. So I thought um, Brady had a pretty good night. Uh, he was 25, 36, 277 yards, three touchdowns. Had one pick. Um, it was another one of those picks that was batted up. And then intercepted, but it still wasn't a good throw by Brady, even no. so. Um, but he had a good night. I thought I thought uh, Trubisky was bad. Uh, really, really terrible. Just, um, just bad. His stat line looks okay. He had 279 yards, but 70 of that is from the Hail Mary. Yeah, so. <laughs> just not. <laughs> like 55 yards on the Hail Mary. Just inaccurate, as all can be. Yeah, he was inaccurate. Nobody could catch anyway to begin with, outside of Burton for him. Burton was their best player, and... And um, the other guy, they're, they're running back out of the back. Cohen, he was he had a good game. Yeah. For the Bears, the rest of them I thought were terrible. Robinson did almost nothing. Well, he's hurt. Yeah. Uh, Khalil Mack, I don't know why he was playing because he, he was very him. gimpy. He he was not good. He he something wrong with him. He don't he don't look great. No. Um. So. Yeah, the highlights of the game are going to be that that the special teams play, but. And you know, defense was okay at times. Um, Rowe got re-injured. I don't care. I hate Eric Rowe. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't like the guys hurt, but I, I don't want the guy playing. So. Although he played okay when he, he did play today. Yeah, well, that's because he was used in nickel formations and yeah. dime formations. He was only used selectively. Right. Uh, J.C. Jackson, I thought, had a terrible game, even though he had one amazing interception in this game. Probably the best interception of the year. Yeah, it was really good. Um, but other than that, he was bad. I think he had like five penalties called yeah, on him. Yeah, he was bad. Um, they really like him, though, for some reason. They do like him, but I mean, he, he intercepted it with one arm. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. <laughs> through, the, through the other guy's hand. I mean, it's just nuts. And then uh, Jonathan Jones had a one-handed pick that was equally really good. amazing. Yeah. Um, this was a weird game. I mean, the Patriots dropped three picks. They should have had five interceptions. Gilmore dropped, I think, two. Yeah. And um, Atlanta Roberts dropped one in the end zone in his hands. Gilmore dropped a pick six in the end zone. Yeah. There was nobody near him. He's gone for a touchdown. Yeah. Um, they they got to work on that. I mean, if you got a chance to get five interceptions, you should have blown this, this game away. Yeah. They also got to stop giving up 30 points a game. And they they are having a, having a turnover problem this year. Yeah. I mean it's just unusual. I mean they they're fumbling a lot, and Brady's turned the ball over a lot. But they're like fluky they're weird fluky interceptions. interceptions. 
Not all of them, but about half of them. They've, been, more. they've just been strange, just strange things, to say the least. But, I mean, the Patriots have routinely been the best team in turnover differential, and they're not this year, and it's very strange. Yeah. So hopefully they will address that. Um, yeah, this game, I mean, basically had a back and forth first half. Yeah. Because of really sloppy play by both teams. I don't even muffed a punt in this game, for God's sakes. I mean, it's just, I've never seen them do that. Yeah. I mean, Gordon dropped an easy pass. Just really strange Yeah, things. they were making the hard catches and the hard interceptions, but the easy stuff they were yeah. missing. So just really weird. And the second half was, look, the Bears were dominating a lot of that third quarter. Yeah. But then Brady turned it on in the fourth. They, they put the ball in his hands again, and... That was it. They they took a lead. They took a two-score lead, but unfortunately they gave it away with that interception. So next week the Patriots have a Monday night game in Buffalo, which... That should be an easy Should game. be pretty easy, I think. Buffalo just got crushed by Indy, so I mean... That says something. <laughs> Indy's not that good this Buffalo, year. Buffalo, they must have gotten a safety, actually, in that game. This is 537. I guess. Um, but they're just... that that. They have no quarterback. Yeah. They just don't. And if you're Buffalo... If I was a Buffalo fan, I would be so pissed that they haven't signed Colin Kaepernick. Or... Or anybody, anybody really. really, but I mean, yeah. Kaepernick's been available on the market for a while now, for two years now. Yeah, so and he is better than Nathan Peterman and all the other garbage on that team. Yeah, I mean, you could probably find a guy on the street better than Nathan Peterman. Yeah, so, <sighs> we'll, so we'll see. We'll do our videos for that. Yeah. Next weekend. And practice Hail Mary defense, please, Patriots. You should not give up 54 yards out of 55 on a Hail Mary. If it wasn't for, I think it was Kyle Van Noy getting pressure on Trubisky, that's a game that's a game tying touchdown. Yeah. So it's just inexcusable at the, the miscues that have been happening on this team. So they got some stuff to work on, but it'll be on to Buffalo huh. next. On the plus side, Jacksonville's collapsed, so. Yeah, makes our lives easier. <laughs> makes our lives easier, but, all right. We'll end it here. Um, hopefully they can they can take care of business against Buffalo, and then you got Green Bay. And then the bye. And then the bye, and they need the bye, and hopefully Sonny Michelle Is okay. sprained his knee. Hopefully he sprained his knee. If he didn't, They're in a world maybe trouble. time to consider trying to make an offer on Le'Veon Bell. As much as we don't want them to do that, it, they might have they to. They have to. Or you got to call Mike, you know, let's see. Bring him back, and that guy's terrible. Uh, you, you may not have a choice. All right. Take care, everyone.